Hey guys, welcome to the Tar Series 7, and I'm reviewing this, which is the DC Comics Multiverse Signature Collection Batman from Batman Forever. So this is pretty cool. This came out last year. I don't really remember what time last year. I know the Flash one came out, and I bought Flash because I really like John Wesley Ship and the Arrowverse and all that cool stuff. Uh, but I wasn't too big on the Batman, just mainly because it's, you know, like the series has been pretty expensive. And for Val Kramer, like if it was Michael Keaton, I probably would have bought it, but Val Kramer wasn't one I I was really excited for uh, but GameStop had this on clearance today so I decided to pick it up and I don't think it's a bad action figure I just think personally for me I'm more of a Michael Keaton fan so even though Val Kramer is cool and it's cool to get him as an action figure that's not something that I was personally going after but that's not really anything to do with this itself but just like a personal preference. But, really cool, we have the Batman Forever movie logo over here, the signature collection up top, a uh, nice clear view of him box, we have artwork, well, it actually kind of, I guess, was a poster or something for the original Batman Forever movie, so that's pretty neat. We have the DC multiverse and the gold, I love that. And on this side, we have a picture of him, and again, even though I would have preferred Michael Keaton, I still think it's cool that they're trying to do obscure kind of characters of this line, I've always thought that was pretty neat. And uh, there's a quote from Batman Forever here. We can see the Flash. And then it actually uh, has a bio. And then we have Batman Forever written up there. And one thing I like is just like with the Flash box, they put the name of the actor that played this. I think that's really interesting and really cool. So, um, yeah, let's open this up. So, here we have Batman, and um, as you can see, he's pretty cool. I like the designs on the face. He's got some white and uh, blue eyes. Pretty cool. I think the mouth looks pretty good. I think they did a good job, and I do think it resembles the actor for the most part, which is pretty cool. I like the designs on the helmet, and I can kind of see how it molds over here. Pretty neat. Uh, we also have the bat symbol, which is really cool. It's gold and black, and it looks really nice. And then his suit's pretty cool. It's like this kind of dark black and gray, and then on the gloves, it's kind of like more... Um, so it looks really nice. I like how the wings stick out. And I also kind of like how they have this like a little wrinkle on the gloves. I think that's pretty neat. He's got fisted hands. He does come with a pair of open grip hands too, which is neat. He's got his utility belt, uh, which has the bat emblem as well. And I think that looks really nice. He's also got some nice muscle designs. And the legs look really neat too. And um, then he has the boots, which have more of the crease and wrinkle. Now, you'll notice from my cape, it's folded up. So um, that's something I'm having problems with. I don't think this is something that all of them have. Uh, but with me, for some reason it's like this. It might have just been packaged wrong and after being in box for so long it might be why. Um, but one thing I do like about the cake material, it is like the um, old 4 inch multiverse um, where they kind of did that letter material fill. It almost kind of feels like letter. I always really like that material so it's really nice to see it make a comeback. I kind of wish they had done that as opposed to the rubber capes that they kind of did for a lot of their 6 inch figures. So I, I like the idea of them going back to this letter type material. And I think they did the same thing for the Justice League Batmans, but I'm not completely sure about that. So it is good to kind of see that they're sticking with that a little bit. Um, but yeah, in terms of articulation, you got a free 6 at the head. You can look up and, well, you can kind of look up and down, not really. You do have a free 60 at the arm, swings out the shoulder, free 60. The Bicep, double jointed elbow. Is it a double joint or a single joint? Single joint elbow, sorry about that. Well, no, I think it is a double jointed elbow. It's kind of hard to tell because of how this is like a, with the arm here. But I do think it's a double joint, not completely sure. Yeah, double jointed. And then you got a free 60 at the wrist and it's on a hinge. There's a free 60 at the torso and there's an ab crunch. The legs come forwards, backwards and outwards. Free 60 at the thigh, double jointed knees. And then the boot doesn't move, I don't think, but the feet are on hinges and they also have the toe articulation. So that's really nice. Do like that. And um, for accessories, you get a pair of grip hands, which are pretty cool. Oh, with that, he can hold the grapple gun, which looks pretty neat. I like the silver on the tips. And, um, yeah, so pretty cool. I like the alternative hands, and I like that they gave you his grapnel gun. Pretty neat. And, um, yeah, overall, I think this is pretty good in terms of articulation and detailing. I really don't like how the cape folds up, but, again, I think that's just mine, so not 100% sure. But I don't think a lot of these will have a problem with that. I like the flash you do get base with the giant DC logo. Batman, and I don't know if I showed this off in the Flash video, but you can open this up and store things in here, like the accessories or alternative hands, so that's pretty cool. That's something that I don't think I showed off in the Flash review that I wish I had. A lot of times if I find out about a feature later on, I'm kind of annoyed by that and wish I had shown it, so in a way I kind of did get to, so that's pretty neat. Um, but yeah, 
you also get this little card and it has a poster from the movie and the DC Multiverse logo and the Batman Forever logo, which is pretty neat. Um, you can use the display stand and you can kind of create a really cool kind of display there. I like that they give you another gray stand for that. So overall, I think this is pretty cool. Again, I personally would have preferred Michael Keaton as that's the person I like as Batman. But for the most part, I think they did a good job with this. You know, if you're a fan of Val Kramer, you're definitely going to really like it. And it's nothing on him in general. I just don't really, I prefer Keaton. Just want to point that out. Um, but yeah, overall, I think they did a really good job with this. And yeah, definitely recommend it. Thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.